Let us pray. Jehovah, Jesus Christ, Holy Michael, our Lord, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this very hour. We thank you for this very day. We are going into your words. Father, Lord, come and speak yourself into our life. And at the end of our sojourn in life, let us inherit your kingdom. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Greetings to you all. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, may his peace be upon us all wherever we are as we listen to the word of God, which I have brought to you this hour. I have not come to you as a preacher, but as a brother in Christ that has been sent to you to deliver his words this day. Matthew 10 verse 20 says, For it is not ye that speak, but the Spirit of your Father which speaketh in you. I pray that his Spirit, the Holy One, and his word never depart from us. Amen. For this reason, Matthew eleven fifteen says, He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. So without wasting much of our time today, I would like to speak regarding the lesson of today, which was taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 11 from verse 20 to 30. So this lesson is talking about three things, which are repentance, miracles, and kingdom of God. But most importantly, the one I would like to touch is the grace we have in our lifetime to know that Jesus has come to redeem us. This grace that the people of Shorazin, Bethsaida, Capernaum failed to acknowledge, showing no remorse or sign of shame, even after they have seen here, people have talked about the mighty works of our Lord Jesus Christ, even signs and wonders. They had here, they had bear witness, and still they continue in their sinful way. Matthew eleven twenty three. I will just read. It says, And thou, Capernaum, which art exalted unto heaven, shall be brought down to hell. For if the mighty works which have been done in thee had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. I picked this very verse because every one of us is, almost every one of us, is aware of what happened in Sodom and Gomorrah and how God destroyed that city. So, this same grace is the same grace that we Christians of today have, especially we Celestia, to be of witness to the foundation of Celestial Church of Christ through Papa Oshofa, which you and I are partaker of the grace in this great congregation. One of our hymns says in 376, I will just sing the chorus, which goes this way. I will sing it in Yoruba and I will take it in English as well. So the Yoruba first go, Giovanni, see Oluwa, Okbagumi, Modupe, Fundasile. I jomi mo to shoju e mi mi. The English goes, Giovanni, see our Lord, my own fortress. I thank thee for founding this congregation. During my own lifetime, it is of a great privilege to us to have been born 
when or people that has even been born before the foundation of celestial church of christ and is a even of a more greater privilege for we that are give our bets into the church so uh, without wasting much of our time because i've i've got just limited time to spend so i would just like to um take this uh passage to reflect in our daily life the life we're living now so i would like to talk about the privileges so what privilege do you have that you are misusing at this very hour or at this very moment? What opportunity comes your way that you throw away? Either through fears or being too carefree or showing no concerns or lack of belief. That maybe, oh, let me give it a try. That it can, maybe it can work out. Or just for you to try or give it a go. So many people are looking for the type of opportunity we have. So many people are praying, if only they can be in our position, they will do better than they are. There's a saying that goes, that many people have head, but no cap. Some have cap, but no head, but you and I that have both head and cap, are we grateful for that? How do we make use of those caps and heads that we have? That takes me back to Matthew eleven twenty-three. that says that if Sodom and Gomorrah as gotten the privilege that Shorazam or Capernaum has had, probably the, that city would have, would have not been condemned. So it is of a great privilege or grace for us to be a partaker of the grace that we have in our Lord Jesus Christ. So many people gone at those days that they don't know God before they died. This Bible passage is even telling us now that those people that did not know God, maybe when Jesus Christ hasn't come to life to die for our sin, they might be if they, they might even see heaven before we that know God but fail to repent of our sins and follow his ways. So, what are you going through that you think it cannot be solved? What are you going through that you think you have been forsaken? Matthew eleven twenty eight reads, Come unto me, holy that labor and every laden, and I will give you rest. My brethren and sisters, cast all your body unto him, Unto him, the Prince of Peace, our Savior, the giver of life, and leave the rest to him or for him to do. It is Satan that puts all this burden so as to distract us from our Lord and rip us off of our happiness so that we can start to chase up or look for gods where there is no God. Matthew 10 verse 41 says, He that receive a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet reward. And he that receive a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. Don't let us look for gods where there is no God. Let us be conversant with his words. His words is the light that shines through our paths, my brethren and sisters. Let's follow it. Let's follow the light. It is only that light that can lead us into the salvation. It is only that light that can lead us into eternal life. It is only that light 
that can lead us into great everlasting enjoyment that never have ending. To bring to conclusion of today's sermon without wasting much of our time, I would like to read the, the, the two to the two last verse, which is from Matthew chapter 11, 29 and 30, which reads, Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. Verse 30 says, For my yoke is easy and my body is light. In Yoruba, that first verse 30 says, Nitori a jagami roru, eru misi fuye. Brethren and sisters, what are we going through? What opportunities are, do we have? Let us stop misusing the grace that we have in our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's stop Oh, let's stop misusing that grace of celestial church of Christ. That oh, eh, ori of eh, big book boy, book boy, call new ori of eh, It is not everything that grace will do for us. Sometimes we need to walk towards it. Taking, for instance, in amazing grace, so many people of so many of us. We have received here and there. Who see anything? Oh my, talk at me along with this shame. Confirm me, no joy, amazing grace that God has not or He has not benefited from the grace of amazing grace through our Lord Jesus Christ. Without wasting much of our time, my brethren, I would like to bring this to, to conclusion. That Nick when we still have life, let us find God. Let us follow Him. Let us be conversant with His Word. Let us take Him as our personal Lord and Savior. Let us repent from our sins. I pray that the Lord will redeem us and save us. And at the end of our sojourn in life, he will count us worthy to reign with him in, in the kingdom of his father. In Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen. Thank you for listening.